Hi there guys, I'm at Wimbledon on the district line. The next section of the district line has now gone ATO. Let's head to Fulham Broadway and check it out. to the end of the westbound platform at Fulham Broadway you'll see that the, this is the end of the CBTC section which drivers have to drive manually under trip clock all stations to Wimbledon Welcome to Ells Court, you can see that they've bagged up all the old signals but they have kept the Tripcock tester. You might be wondering why they have kept their Tripcock tester. It's because the trains still have their Tripcocks and they're running between two different systems. But to my left is a transmitter. It transmits information from the train's VOBCs to the control centre back and forth so that the controllers know exactly where all the trains are at one time. Let's head to High Street Kensington to show you something. Join me at High Street Kensington. I want you to watch a train come into the platform towards Edger Road. It's quite interesting how it drives in the platform. So now you've seen what it's doing, so what it's doing is getting halfway on the platform, accelerating, then braking, which I disagree with. It should be maintain one percentage of speed and then brake at the end. TFL, if you're listening, could you uh, tweak that coming into High Street Kensington, please? Um, let's head to Barons Court. I'm at Barons Court on the eastbound district line platform, same principle as Fulham Broadway. Train comes in under Tripcock, 
then switches over to ACO slash CBTC. Westbound, train comes in in ACO, then goes back to Tripcock. And that is automatic trains on the district line. Elizabeth line is coming soon. Do all the YouTube goodness, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys really soon after the strikes have obviously ended. Take care.